Nemezoto ati kle ave wo me ye me se heo le ha vi vi wo jim kene me po balio me tu tu ta me se to si si o di din kle ya fa fe. Jinye jana de la mawunye Leke gbegbe yene lulwe Jinye jana de la mawunye Aleke gbegbe ne lulu I started working with so many uh, materials, you know, commonplace materials. And being commonplace, well, these are things normally one would expect to be thrown away, but I saw that when you link things, when you unite things, their power keeps growing. There could be so many connections between uh, artisanal, you know, practices and uh, and what I do, especially fishing. You know, my home is basically a fishing uh, village. It's it's a peninsula. All around it is the lagoon. And therefore, there are a lot of people who engage in the repetitive action. You know, mending nets, if you have to repeat things, the meaning of the thing dawns on you more, you know. You don't mantra, you have to repeat. You repeat in order to get concentration. That's one major area in which I think uh, my process is. And that of the local artisan come together. Where we are sitting now is the nucleus of the studio. We're trying to extend it to the other side so that there will be more uh, processes. The space you work in as an artist has a lot to do with what your imagination does. It gives it more freedom, you know, to roam and explore, you know, and discover things. The structure that I operate here is me and then two artists and then the skilled uh, workers. You know, each person brings in a little bit of variety, you know, in the way they carry out that simple instruction. And those are not mistakes. I think they are to be expected. It's uh, in an art situation, that's a very desirable thing. It's only in a, in a factory that you have the, the machines making the same thing, but these are human hands, and you expect that they come with all the human uh, varieties. And so as an artist, I have to decide how to harness those differences, you know, into something organic. The initial idea I had about the Taban Hall and uh, its associations was to go into the archives and try to use as many things as possible. And one of the beginning points was the Cape Coast Castle. I haven't been there before, but this project took me there. What struck me was, you know, this idea of heaven and earth. You know, I saw it clearly. Uh, demonstrated, whereby you have uh, the dungeons below ground, then a chapel on top of them. The, the Christian idea that uh, we had grown up with, that heaven is up there and hell is below, you know, I thought that was a very clean, clear illustration of it. I grew up in 
colonial uh, Gold Coast. And I remember clearly that the only sugar that was available, you no know, cube sugar, was State and Lyle. So what I did was to think about all the things that went into the birth of industries and uh, and you can't talk about industries without talking about the transatlantic slave trade, which provided very uh, cheap labor, you know, for things to start. And I know that although Tate didn't take part in the slavery, they did benefit from the infrastructure that was created by that uh, project. And so I wanted to work with elements that have to do with all those things. Uh, one of the elements that I can mention that would be visible in the work is uh, a moon, and a red moon for that uh, matter. I don't know what a red moon means, but, but a moon is there. As an artist, you don't have to have clear meaning for all those things, uh, for, for the elements you are using, or yeah, you can just play around and eventually meanings do come out of such play. I started working with so many uh, materials, you know, commonplace materials, and being commonplace, well, these are things normally one would expect to be thrown away, but those things have a lot of history behind them. They help to preserve the memory of the place and the people. You know, the bottle caps has very close associations with the transatlantic slave trade. Drinks were introduced into Africa in that form, you know, from Europe. Then they eventually became a items that were currency. The common place origin of the material doesn't make it effective if you do a little piece with it. But I saw that when you link things, when you unite things, their power keeps growing and they hold together because of that idea of being united. And I think this is going to be the the largest of these sheets that I've, I've created so far. Qui peut faire de la voile sans vent? Qui peut ramer sans rameur? You don't have to allow everything to be thrown away, you know, but give them new life in order to uh, bring back some meaning and help enrich the lives of people who would have known them as one particular thing, but now they have seen them as capable of so many other things apart from what they knew them as. La, 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 la,